for the Alpine on the left-hand side. That's Mr. Jonathan Chen. And the Ferraris try to bring it to him straight into that, but he's covered him off very close in the Red Bull background. Luke Smith already gaining a position on the medium tire compound. I gotta get warmed up. Luke Smith now bouncing that challenge next to Beaker, I think it is, or no? No, it's Joshua, side by side. Once John again. John T's gone round at the back. Okay, John T, yep, you know. You're at the back at the moment. Yep. <laughs> Keep an eye on this one, because Joshua's really putting some pressure. As you position gainers and losers, once soon as you all be in the pit lane and retire the car, mate, you'll be able to jump up the commentary box with me. So far, oh, wow. so good. It's uh, been pretty, pretty clean. I think it's just, as I said, John T going around somewhere. Yeah, we're, after this race will be a season break. And then the last few races to decide how much Luke Smith is going to win the title by. Uh, no, I'm kidding, of course. Yeah, things can change, but it's looking pretty highly in his favour at the moment. Contenders, aren't they, in this championship right there? And Cody didn't put too much of a fight up, knowing that, well, once again, there's different tyre strategy. And yes, we're behind. He'll be looking to get past there. Maybe he catch up to Beaker. Now, again, we're talking about losing DRS. They're over a second behind the Haas driver now. Yeah, so okay. To focus on yeah, still having that issue, aren't you? With the players. Anyway, good. It's a good run right now for the Ferrari. This is it. It's going to make or break because you don't want to be stuck in this Alpine sandwich for too long. You know that they work together and they have. Well, he's got the job done. That's great. Got to pull up there. But look at this. Look at Chen Jay and Luke Smith. What's going to happen here? What would you do if Luke Smith I, looks like something? Oh, he's gone a little bit too early. Yeah, Cody almost uh, sent it into the fence, but he lived to see another day. But sorry, what did you, what did you say? No uh, damage, it's just gone for a spin no. there, so he, his teammate will go straight past. He lives to see another day. Just a couple of positions dropped back. I think yes has got an issue. He's pulling into the pits. He was losing uh, a lot of time to Thomas before that. So. Oh yes, he does have end plate damage, front right, 11%. Yeah. Good, good catch. Yeah. Good, good catch. Good catch. But the, he, he was losing a lot of time there. I wouldn't expect 11% damage. Anyway, Jonathan Chen going for the move back on the Ferrari down to turn one, and now Luke Smith might actually go for a move this time, because it isn't his teammate. He's a lot closer to Fionn than Fionn is to Jonathan, so this could get messy in a moment. Luke Smith looking to the inside, Ferrari oh. also looking to the inside of Chen Jay. Down the inside, tinsy bit of contact, but it's nothing too bad. Exit down yeah. the inside! Is this the Alpine blocking technology? Take it is. It's the Alpine blocking. Yeah, it blocking. is. They boxed him in. Yep, yeah, boxed him. Oh, and that's brilliant. Luke Smith passed. The Alpines won two. And all oh, but Jonathan's just come in. Cody follows him in. He yeah, wasn't in. Now, that, that's interesting because that's now left Luke Smith vulnerable uh, to uh, McKee behind. Absolutely. That's a bit of cheekiness, but it's legal. So I just chose Luke, but he starts on the medium, so maybe different views on what's an advantage and how much there is. So does the Ferrari come in this lap to react to the other two who came in? Or am I thinking about another uh, either, either him or his yeah. teammate. Maybe both yeah. of them is... Oh, Cody's made a mistake! Yeah. And then the Ferraris just put him in the wall. Uh, and that's given him 18 to sector 3. Time, that's mate. a Mercedes. There he is. Has oh. he got damage? Yes, he has. He's got 10% on the left end plate. Did he just pass the pit lane too? No, he can still go. Nope, in. he's just before the pit lane, so that is a good time. This game, because it adds a lot more excitement, you know, it really takes an advantage if you go softs and mediums and all that jazz. Well, pile him off again at 10-3. So it might go for, uh, that's a lot more damage. Now he's actually lost the left end plate, 26% on that left hand side. On the side of the Ferrari, looking over his shoulder to the left, you can see he's um, steering well, let's change back, but I'll take that one, Cody. It's about now one to almost one and a half seconds slower than the guys that are on the fresh rubber. And I think, speaking of that, I think uh, Ronnie just he did get past Danny. So is Thomas. Those two have not been able to come in. The likes of Brownie and Danico can. That is huge. And also, because Luke... Now, would he be allowed to overtake it? Yeah. Yes. Because Luke, he hasn't caught the leader yet. Yeah, that's right. So... And, that's the thing. and then once he catches the leader, that's when the Delta gets that's a fresh set. He can come in for a fresh set of sauce, which I think he might be doing. Yeah, he is, actually. Yeah. So his uh, gap to which... Brownie is close. P2s, P3s, and all that jazz down the road. And is going to have to really get some temperature up in those mediums because he's going to have some. Oh! Backed up, probably. You were saying soon. about a leader oh, not oh, losing oh. the lead, and he's lost the lead for now. He's trying to get it back. He's using all his overtake. Him enough space. And now Thomas with the better line through turn three. Luke will have the inside line again. Fastest wow. lap of the race. Only quickest in the last sector, though. The quickest middle sector belongs to his teammate Jonathan. 
And here we go. Thomas's first attack, gaining a lot of speed. Luke only defending in the search of line. And is that Thomas' pass? Yes, it is. Ahead at the apex. And down the inside. Oh, he tried it. Didn't quite work out. Maybe looking for the better exit. Still going down the inside again. Now round the outside for the right-hander. But here we go. Thomas on the attack again. Round the outside. Luke Smith not going to give it up this time. Yes, he is, actually. He is going to give it up. But Thomas has had an awful turn one. And here yes, comes... He's trying to get three wide. Oh, no. Luke had to back out. Brownie's into the lead. But Luke's come back on the exit. Thomas has been royally scuffed. He's gone from first to... It was fourth for a moment. Now third. And that, that, this is when Luke... And Brownie wants a lead back from Luke. Diving down the inside. This is going to give Thomas his chance with a better exit. Here we go. Down the inside, maybe a Brownie. And Seven the are separated by 1.9 seconds. And now, a couple of them are nursing two warnings, my friend, for the corner cutting. Oh! oh! Yes, was round! Yeah, we just caught that. Actually, just in the... Oh, I'm going to go back and show his car right now, but... Yes, was into the fence. Yep, he's Something's got... Something's happened there, this, because... No, it's he's just been overtaken by Will. Oh, this tire's probably not giving the grip. I think Cody as well. Yes, he did actually. That's a double overtake. Well, two two um, losses. Again, for the lead. Any of these gladiators make a mistake right now at this level with their bunched up, that's bye-bye for a possible podium. Yeah, it's Thomas really trying to go down the inside, going into turn four. Real Formula One Grand Prix, you get DRS, you get DRS, and you get DRS. And again, just how long needs to be within about three tenths or so if you want to go for it. And that, yeah, you can see he's again up. I can see the slam tree because I'm not casting at the moment, but they, they've actually both got a little bit of fight. I'm safer. sorry, Luke Smith. I love you, but I'm going for the underdog here, and the underdog being Thomas. Oh, he's, he's already gone, gone for it. He's already gone for it. Well, and yeah. that's weird. I don't know why he's gone for it. There, yes, but we have a take with them, Luke Smith. So the, in terms of ERS, Thomas is in the better position. It's a question of who's going to be better on the driving. Like Luke does indeed have it, unless Thomas just wildly sends one. Yes, he does. Taps the rear. Sends himself spin. round. And he's on. Oh. He's collided. With, yes, it's that send. That's, the, that, that's what you get him out of the race. He didn't cross the line. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there he is. But we do know who's uh, on the top step once again. And definitely improving his boxing skills once again.